Hello everyone, today I will show you painting the blood letters. As usual, I started from preparing parts, removing the mold lines. When the parts are ready, I apply the Vallejo Grey Primer. I drilled holes in the legs of the miniatures in order to mount them on the cork bases and further on the gaming bases. I assembled the pins using super glue. I decided to paint the corn log on the banner. I started from bleached bone as a base color for the logo. Let's start painting the swords. I decided to paint swords with yellow, red, brown gradients. I started painting from yellow, then I applied orange, then red, then mahogany. When one side of blight was painted, I masked it and painted the same way the second one. I applied base red color to the blood letters. Using mahogany, I painted the shadows. After painting the shadows, I sprayed miniatures bright red on the upper parts. I painted thin lines on the banner as a pattern for the corn logo. I prepared a stencil in order to paint the logo. I applied the stencil to the banner. I painted the whole banner black. I made first highlight using German grey and second using medium sea grey. When paint was dry, I removed the stencil.
because it's very hard to say where exactly horns begin, I started painting gradient between red skin and pale brown horns. I highlighted horns using sand paint. I realized that I forgot to make a bigger hole in the horn, so I did it. I applied copper paint to the metal parts. I started painting claws from base coat Deneb stone, then I highlighted them using bleached bone. The final highlight was made with a mix of bleached bone and white. I also used the same color combination during painting the teeth. Using very soft brush I painted nodose areas. I painted the bones on the back brown, then I highlighted them using sand color. I started painting the tongues from leech purple, then I highlighted them using warlock purple and squid pink. I assembled the heads. I applied oil wash to the miniatures. Last step was mounting minis on the bases. Using pins I marked the points where I had to drill the holes. The finished models look like this. Thank you for watching, please comment, rate and subscribe.